Okay, so then let's go to 2023. July 17th, Keefe's wife's house in Henderson, Nevada gets raided by Las Vegas PD. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised this happened? Not surprised because I knew that there was already a reinvigorated investigation and that they were moving towards that goal. I was surprised the day it happened because I was unaware of the timing. Uh, but I'm not surprised that it happened because that seemed to be, you know, it's all part of that investigative process of uh, pre-indictment, grand jury, all of these things that were taking place. So were you involved with Las Vegas PD leading up to this? Involved in the extent that I was helping to provide some information from our case, just trying to bring them up to speed on anything that had taken place. Um, you know, I'm involved, Darren Dupree's involved. I think Mike Dorsey is leading this charge to try to get people to put pressure on Las Vegas. So there was a collective effort um, for everybody to try to work together. But I wasn't involved as far as doing any investigative work. I mean, That's, when you look at a case, this big and this old, how much money does a police department have to put aside for something like this? Is this millions of dollars, essentially? It really depends on what extent they investigated Kefi. If they were doing wiretaps and that type of thing, that starts getting really expensive. Um, but if they were just doing your kind of more conventional police work, then no, you're just, it's your investigators that are getting paid anyways, regardless yeah, of what case they're Might as well just direct them over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they raid his house on July 17th. They find bullets in his house, but no surprise to anyone, the bullets don't right. coincide with anything. Didn't they find some Tupac related stuff in the house or? I don't know exactly, uh, other than obviously his book was there and some other, I think they took a bunch of photographs. Don't know what those photographs um, consisted of. Yeah, I don't know of any memorabilia that had to do with Tupac. I do know at the time that he, the car that he was driving back in 1996, which was that black SS Impala, that had a Tupac CD in the trunk. When they, okay. <laughs> when they, you know, so here they've just got done shooting Tupac and now they've got his music in the car still the day that they impound his vehicle. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of dark. 